What's up, Vinyl Community? It's your boy Chris coming at you live from my Nissan Altima. Um, on my way up to Noble Records. Uh, there's no, you know, John Jenkins uh, OG on the wall or anything like that, but there is some good stuff that I saw on a flip through video last night. I uh, got me a nice, juicy stack of trades sitting over here to my right. Uh, don't know what all I need, but whatever I don't need, I'll take home a Noble uh, Records store credit. Um, but uh, yeah, gonna see if I can get in the early morning dig this morning. Uh, and then, you know, shoot back to the house and be lazy the rest of the day. It's supposed to be raining here in the Carolinas. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what it is I come up with and I'll talk to you soon. What's up, Vinyl Community? It's your boy, Chris, uh, coming at you from my brand new Nissan Altima. Um, so, uh, got up this morning. Uh, decided to go on and run up to Noble. I uh, didn't come up here for anything major. There was, like I said in the intro, there was no, uh, there was no um, John Jenkins uh, uh, OG uh, on the wall. I didn't even pull anything off the wall today, which is probably gonna really shock you guys. I can't remember the last time I came up here and didn't pull something off the wall. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually, I didn't bother going through and reorganizing any of these, but I can do it real quick. Yeah, I do it real quick, why not? Yeah, sure, I'll do that. I, I did get an OG. I, I got a couple OGs, though, so that's cool. All right, anyway, so um, Dylan had a, in a couple of uh, in a couple of uh, plastic bins, uh, Tupperware bins, if you will, up front. So uh, I went ahead and ran in, grabbed a few. I don't have nearly enough by Chick Corea, so I went ahead and grabbed one today. It's uh, Bliss by Chick Corea with John Gilmore, Walter Booker, and Pete LaRocca on Muse Records. It's a great record, but I've never owned it. Uh, but again, like I said, I've decided I don't own, own nearly enough by Chick Corea, so I'm going to try to start rectifying that. Uh, even uh, when he passed, uh, I was I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I, I only own a few records by this guy. And so that, ever since then, that's been something I've been trying to work on fixing. Next one, uh, you guys, if you've been following my channel long enough, know how much I love uh, Yusef Latif. Uh, so this is Yusef Latif, Other Sounds on New Jazz. It's a 1964 pressing. So that's Yusef Wilbur Harden. Hugh Lawson, Ernie Farrow, and Oliver Jackson. It's an absolutely awesome record. I love it. Uh, next up, uh, Donald Byrd, Stepping Into Tomorrow. Believe it or not, I've never owned this record. It was shocking for me, myself. It's not one that's expensive, but it's one you don't, I, at least I don't see around that much. But uh, went ahead and rectified that today. It's now part of the collection. So uh, yeah, Donald Byrd, Stepping Into Tomorrow. Wonderful stuff. Happy to finally have a little water damage down here, a little around here, uh, but awesome stuff. This is going to be the second time I've owned an, uh, an original copy of this album. It's uh, Doing the Thing, the Horse Silver Quintet at the Village Gate. Uh, OG Mono, Blue Mitchell, Junior Cook, Horse Silver, Gene Taylor, Roy Brooks. Uh, the cover is not beautiful, uh, but it is uh, intact. It's no splits, no seams, no problems. Uh, you know, but a little, whatever the hell that is on the back, whatever that is. And there's that little, like, almost like a burn there. But uh, Dylan's got it as listed as VG minus, but uh, uh, he's always been a conservative grader. It looks like VG plus to me. Uh, very happy to have it. Next up, too bad this isn't an OG, or I would be glowing right now. But uh, it's the second time I've owned this pressing of this album, and it may very well be the exact same copy. Uh, so it's Joe Henderson, Our Thing, uh, Kenny Dorham, Andrew Hill, Eddie Kahn, and Pete LaRocca. Yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite records by Joe Henderson. So fun story on this one. Um, not too long ago, I had an in on an OG uh, for this one. And uh, when I got an in for an OG on this one, I just went ahead and sold this one to a buddy. Um, and I remember the deal fell through on my OG. Uh, my buddy that I got it through, he was negotiating it through somewhere else, but for some reason the guy backed out, changed his mind, whatever. It's never a good idea to sell a record before you have its replacement in hand. But I've done it before and I was guilty of it in this instance, so I went ahead and did it. Um, but I don't advocate for it, it's just not a great idea. And I've only got, this. I've only been burned on it twice, but it's, it's not a great idea. But you know, the, my buddy of mine that, you know, that we were working the deal out sold me something else that was awesome, you know, made it right, everything like that. Um, he was the middleman through the deal, my friend was. The guy who was selling the copy was the guy who said he was gonna go through it and then flaked out. Kind of screwed me and my buddy, the middleman. Kind of screwed us both. But uh, is what it is, and so I had to go without the album for a while. 
And so when I saw this on Dylan's flip through video, I'm like, eh, I'll come on back for it. But it's got the, if you look, it's got where somebody took like an ink pen and started drawing in our thing. Otherwise it is a flawless copy. I don't know why, what brought this person to do that. Well, the copy that I had before that I sold had that same thing. And I'm like, that's just too much of a coincidence. So I went up front and uh, asked Dylan, I said, now I have to know who it is you got this collection from. And he told me, he goes, it's a young guy, probably in his 20s, uh, real nice, real polite, brings me some stuff in here sometimes, cool guy, uh, yada, yada, yada. And uh, he brought me that one. And so I, I went flipping through the bins and I noticed some more that looked like old copies of mine that I had sold this same guy. So Ed, uh, my boy, if you're watching, <laughs> Uh, again, he didn't confirm that, but just by the description and it just only makes sense, yeah, especially since he described you as a local. So, uh, Hey, things find their way back to you sometimes. So if you sold this one, I'm guessing you either got a slightly cleaner copy or you got an OG. So either way about it, congratulations to you, my friend. And finally, this is the one I came all the way up here for today, believe it or not. Um, might shock some of you cause it's not the most major release out of the group. But it's the kicker with the Joe Henderson sextet on Milestone. Awesome stuff. Joe Henderson, Mike Lawrence, Rashawn Moncour, Kenny Barron, Ron Carter, Louis Hayes. Um, guys, uh, I've probably talked about this several times on this channel. I've long coveted, coveted um, Joe Henderson's entire haul uh, on uh, Milestone. I'd like to have his entire Milestone discography. And so um, I'm still a few short. Uh, this brings me a little closer to accomplishing that goal. I'm down to really what are the, the hardest ones to find is basically what I'm, what I'm, what I'm down to now. But uh, nice to cross this one off today, and it's a clean copy. So very happy to have this. Uh, managed to help out my boy uh, Jason today. Jason, I snagged you uh, that Bud Power you were asking about. Dylan's keeping it in the shop. I think he said he was going to send it to you along with some shirts. Uh, tree uh, if you're watching and you usually do uh, if you're watching i tried to grab that lucky strikes for you buddy but somebody beat me to it so uh, sorry about that i was gonna you know grab it for you as a surprise to be completely honest with you because i know last night when you and i were messaging back and forth um and you'd ask me whether or not i was coming up i kind of like basically told you i wasn't well you know i went back and looked at the video again early this morning when my daughter would not let me sleep and uh, I went back and looked through that video, and that's when I, I, I spotted that kicker, the, the kicker, the Joe Henderson, that just blew right past my mind, and I could not remember seeing it. But anyway, uh, sorry about that, bud. You know I'll get you next time. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, wherever you're at, enjoying some records, enjoying some good times, enjoying some family and friends. And I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, until next time, until next video. Keep dropping that needle, you guys.